How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to another review on the channel. This one is the one that you've been waiting for because a lot of you have been asking for this review because it is their road to their first final. You've got a choice of two players. Is it player pick? It's between Idrissa Guy and Angelino. Now Angelino looks great. It looks fantastic. It looks like a good left back that could potentially go on to be an amazing left back. But Idrissa Guy and a guy... He's going to be my choice. So lads, if you do enjoy the review today, you know what to do. Smash it like and it straight away and bring that hype. Smash that like and let's aim for oh, a thousand likes. That would be amazing. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here and click that notification bell as well. So there's no doubt about it. Idrissa Guy, you would have seen him at the start. He didn't have a dynamic image. Now he's got dynamic image. It makes it that more, much more appealing to some players on this game. But honestly, PSG... They've got Mbappe. Now, Mbappe could take them far off in the Champions League. It, it, it's always been known for that. They've got Neymar as well. They've got a really good team to do Paris Saint-Germain. But also, I really just the Ghana guy on this game. I, I uh, Does he have the middle name Ghana anymore? But I just a guy, I rate him on this game in terms of what his normal card brings to the table. So I was intrigued into what this card could bring to the table because, again... He's one of those moldable players where you can have him at CDM, put a shadow on him, increase that acceleration and sprint speed because they are lacking 76 and 73 respectively. So you want to boost that up. Or you can stick like an engine on him or you can stick like an anchor on him to boost that defending and physicality up even though you don't really have to. But um, I reckon shadow suits this card very, very well. Other than that, possibly Catalyst. Catalyst could do really well for this card considering... I, I don't get on with his passing. I really, really don't. We're going to play him CDM in a 4 2 3 1 formation. Uh, actually, 4 4 2. We're going to go 4 4 2 today. And the tactics are, as you can see on screen, uh, right about now. We're going on pressure and heavy touch. We're going on free depth. And um, no, free width and five depth. That's what we're going on. Long ball because pressure and heavy touch. Uh, uh, lads, I'm sick of playing this boring football on FIFA. I'm sick of passing it around the midfield, uh, going to the defense a few times, and then starting to attack. I want to attack, attack, attack. Every single time, and that is what this uh, custom tactic allows me to do, and that's what the formation allows me to do as well. So long ball on the offense, width for five, place in the box, seven. We're going to attack, we're going all out attack, and I choose a guy, he did score one goal for me, and the free kicks and corners are on two apiece. In terms of instructions for Idrissa Guy in the 4-4-2 formation, um, literally nothing, we've left them just on everything simple, basically balanced. Guardiola is going to be our all out CDM, because... That's, that's what Guardiola does. Even though this guy has medium to high work rates, what he's going to do is sit back naturally and defend naturally. So that's what uh, just the guy is going to do. And uh, he's going to play in that position in at the 4-4-2 with no instructions. In terms of his player bio and the player data and whatnot, um, he's 5 foot 9 tall. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for a CDM on this game. You look at Kante. Kante is one of the better ones on this game. And uh, is he smaller than Idrissa Guy? I'm not too sure. But um, he might even be the same height. But Idrissa Guy, in terms of jumping, if you're worried about his height... He's got 90 jumping. Don't worry about it in the slightest. That is amazing jumping on this game. He's right for primarily with a medium to high work rate. So, again, you'll naturally sit back in the fence. And uh, free star combo. Free star weak foot and the free star skills. In terms of the in-game stats, his pace is lacking. His pace is lacking. It's only 75. As a CDM, you don't really need all too much pace. But to accelerate and close someone down... That is what I wanted to put a shadow on him for. So uh, acceleration is 76. Plus 15 with the shadow cam style. Pushes it into the 90s. I think like 91 or something like that. That's incredible for the card. In terms of sprint speed, it goes to 83. So again, he's quite fast in this game. And it is good. It's a good look for the card. You look good. In terms of shot power, it's 84. So scoring goals, it can be quite difficult for him. Because he's only got 52 finishing and 69 long shots. And 33 volleys. But he can score goals. Given the shot power, he can score goals. It's just not going to be every single match. It's not going to be two per game. It's not going to be three per game. Like I said, he's a natural CDM on this game. In terms of passing, it lets you down. Not just because of the vision. Not just because of the crossing. It's the 82 short pass, which is good. That is good. Don't worry about that. 80 long pass is good. He's just not going to generate any curve in them. Lads, he's got 46 curve. I mean, come on. He's not going to bend them round defences. He's not going to create chances. And um, he's just going to do a straightforward pass like... Roman Rhodes, they were all straight. Idris Garner guy thinks in Roman Rhodes' ways. Well, Robert, that's a bloody tongue twist out. Roman Rhodes' ways. Yeah, he thinks like that. Um, in terms of dribbling, it's good. 84 agility, 82 bounce, better than some cams on this game. 85 reactions, he's got 81 ball control, 77 dribbling, but he does have 82 composure. Defending and physical is where it's at with this card. From the 91 interceptions 
to the 85 defensive awareness, 92 stand tackle, 84 side tackle. Basically, all that is boosted up to the max with Shadow. That is outstanding. He's got 90 jump and 92 stamina and 87 aggression. His strength does let him down, but we'll talk about it in the gameplay. So with that being said, let's get into the gameplay. Let's see what Adrissa Gay is like. So here we go. Now, despite me playing 22 games of the card, it's very hard to select certain highlights with Adrissa Guy. Why is that? Because he's silent. He's silent in game, but he does the job. It's like the silent assassin. With him, in midfield, he wins the ball back and uh, recycles possession every single time. That's what he does. He does no-nonsense midfield work. And sometimes that goes unnoticed. And it goes unnoticed, and that's why this review has took a long while to do. Because to get highlights for the card, it is very, very difficult. But um, that was his one goal there, inside the area, using the shot power to score the goal. And that's how he's going to score goals to this card. But he doesn't pop up in those areas too, too often. This is what he does. He wins the ball back. His aggression is incredible in this game. And his stand tackle is sublime. It is really, really good. 92 goes to 97 with the Shadow Kemp style. That's just phenomenal on this game. So in terms of the pros of this card, interceptions has to be one because he intercepts everything, lads. He's Mr. Interceptor on this game. And the other one I can kind of compare him to is Alan. Alan and Idris Gay is, um, is his name Gay or Guy? I'm not too sure. It's, it's very strange because I've heard two versions of the, the words of his surname. Um, let me know in the comment section, in, in, in the comment section, lads. But uh, yeah, he's Mr. Interceptor on this game and he accepts a bloody everything, lads. He's like an octopus at times and um, I do like that about the card. The tackling, it's a shoot every time. 50-50s, he goes in for him, he wins the ball back. This is your opponent, this is Drissa Garnagay. Guy, gay, whatever you want to call him. Bang, he's out of the way every single time. In terms of the pace, it's there with the card, due to the, the chem style put on him. And could I notice that? Yes, I could. He was phenomenal at accelerating to close opponents down. And just look at this. His sprint speed. He's selected in... Actually, that's Samedo, lads. It is Samedo. I had uh, Idrissa Gay further up in the attack. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, Samedo running back there. But um, stamina-wise, it's incredible. It's stamina. He could go all game long. But again, he doesn't have high high work rate, so he doesn't really need it. But he can go all game long. And that is down to the stamina of the card. And um, the aggression is very, very good because, again, he wins those 50-50s. Strength-wise, and this is what you'll probably argue with, is not that good in terms of shoulder-to-shoulder. -shoulder. So if you go to shoulder-to-shoulder -to -shoulder someone and go to um, physical combat, not like fisty cups or anything like that, but shoulder-to-shoulder, um, -shoulder, he's going to lose out those battles, but the 50-50s, he does win. So again, that's contradicting what I'm saying in terms of aggression, but it's not really. 50-50s, Adrissa Gaze. Uh, shoulder to shoulder, Idrissa guys. He's got multiple personalities, guys. Uh, in terms of the attacking abilities, it's not really there with the card, but you're buying him and you're using him for his defensive abilities. So that is a con if you want to play him center mid. In terms of strength, shoulder to shoulder, it's not really going to win you games or win you balls or anything like that. And the passing, he passes in straight lines. He doesn't generate any curve in them whatsoever. And that is a shame, as you've seen the build-up today, winning the ball back. And he just recycles possession. He's a no-nonsense CDM on this game, and he does his job. And with that being said, let's get into the overall rating for Idrissa Ghana Guy. So here we go with the overall rating for Idrissa Guy. In terms of his overall rating, he will get an 8.6, which is a good rating for an 85 rated card, because... I fully believe he's a cracking CDM and centre midfielder. He offers you a lot defensively. He offers you a hell of a lot defensively. He's got good links to uh, um, Mbappe, to Neymar, to Draxler screen cards, to Thiago Silva. He's got great links on this game. Even if you want to do a link like mine that you would have seen at the very, very start, from Adrisa Gay to... Uh, honestly, I don't know his second name. I don't know how you pronounce his second name. To... Um, it's so Sadio Mane. That's a great link on this game. It's a fantastic link, and you could definitely utilize those two as um, a link in midfield or strike force. But drop a Drista Gear or Guy to CDM or center midfield in game. So, with all these abilities, I reckon 8.6 is fair. I reckon that's fully fair for the cards. But should you spend 240,000 coins? And 220 on the PlayStation for this SPC, the player pick between Angelino and Idrissa Guy. Um, it's a hard one, boys. It's a very, very hard one. He's getting a 7.5 in that category because I couldn't even make my mind up. I really can't because he's a great player in this game. He's got great potential to go to like an 88 CDM. With that being said, he could be one of the better uh, CDMs in this game due to his stats and his abilities. But um, would you rather go Angelino? 
For me, Angelino's a good Premier League left back, but you've also got Robertson. And so with that being said, in terms of Spain, you've also got Jordi Alba. In terms of reducing down a gay or guy, is a CDM position in uh, Ligue 1. You, you don't have too much um, talent in, in Ligue 1 as a CDM. So for that reason, I went to reduce a guy. And um, for that reason, I would back this guy. If you, you're between two options of Angelino or just a guy, I'd go address a guy. So he's getting a 7.5 in that category. It's just a guy is a very good player on this game. In terms of enjoyment, I've got a lot of enjoyment out of him, even though he was a silent player on this game. What I mean by silent player is a player that goes about his business. That's not like um, a rude hullet. That's not massive, absolutely gigantic. And he's going to trash for your opponents and uh, make himself known every single two seconds of the game. A juice it, gay or guy, he's going to go in, he's going to win the ball back, and he's going to recycle possession. He does the simple things, but he does them effectively. So I like that, man. And he's getting an 8.8 .8 in that category. Foot champ status, starter. If you get this guy, start this guy if you possibly can. Link him to Mane. Link him to Icons. Link him to Kylian Mbappe in Neymar. Link this guy to get him in your team. In terms of game played, I've played 22 games in total with the card so far. Scoring one and assisting the one. His first three games, I've got a good memory, boys. But no, kept a screenshot. He got a 7.6, an 8.0, and a 7.2. In terms of links... Already spoke about one of the best ones, uh, Mane, who's great on this game. Uh, Kylian Mbappe, Neymar, etc, etc. He's got great links on this game, despite him being from Senegal. Senegal's got some great players, man. They really, really do. Even, is Koulibaly from Senegal as well? They've got some fantastic players within that nation. And um, a similar player for me would be Kante. Kante is um, the benchmark for a lot of CDMs in this game. And it's just a guy, he could definitely get up there with Kante someday. In terms of key pro, it will be the tackling of the card. The key con will be the passing due to the lack of curve. Straightforward passes, by all means, he's very good at. But uh, curving around defences and whatnot, he's not going to be that creative due to the 46 curve. In terms of the best chem style, I'll stick with what I put on the card. I put Shadow on the cards and just made him an absolute CDM beast. 88 CDM he goes to an 89 centre back and right back with an 87 right wing back and he goes to an 80 centre midfielder. So if you want to play him a centre midfielder, I'd probably recommend Engine or something along those lines. In terms of the best CDM or centre midfielder within that league of League 1, Guy wins. Guy does win. He comes out on top over Draxler. And in terms of the nation, it's only a a guy that really is in contention for that number one spot. Passing, he's getting a five. Shooting, he's getting a six. Physicality, he's getting an eight. And the dribbling is getting a seven. And this review is done. So, lads, hope you have enjoyed this review. You've been asking for it for a long time now. And I do apologize if I didn't get out really early. It's just very hard to select highlights, as you would have seen in the highlights, to um, highlight this card and showcase this card due to his silence kind of nature on this game. And I've explained that many, many times in this review. But, lads, I hope you have enjoyed, man. I hope I've got another one out later today. But this promo ends at six. So if there's anyone else you want to see from this promo that I haven't reviewed yet, comment section below. If there's anyone else you want to see, period, let me know in the comment section as well. Hope you're having a great day today. This is going to be the early uploads. Hopefully I get another one out later tonight. But again, let me know who you want to see. But lads, smash your like, subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will catch you all next time.